Hello, this is Bern, and if you find yourself in a painful relationship with a guy, please stick around because I'm going to be sharing with you five clear signs that you're in a codependent relationship on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be .com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and the reason why I'm so excited today to share this topic of five signs that you're in a codependent relationship is because I experience the pain of so many women around me who are in relationships that are addictive and codependent in nature and inside of the relationship these women cannot understand that they are part of this codependent relationship that is unhealthy and should either change form or completely whatsoever dissolve if they are to find true happiness and love. So the first sign that will tell you that you're in a codependent relationship is when you can't enjoy life unless you're close to your partner. If you feel anxious, you feel worried, you feel sad or even depressed when your partner is not close by, that is, that's a sign that you're living life through your partner instead of doing the shit you need to do in your own life to own it, to bring it, to be a source of light so that you can add to the greatness of your partner versus taking away from his life. Okay, so anytime you find yourself, here's the thing, there's a difference between your partner going on a trip for three weeks and you feeling that you miss them, okay, versus your partner being out of your house for a couple of hours and you start feeling like you can't function properly or for one day and, and, and you, you're not yourself. You can't enjoy being with your friends. You can't enjoy being in a party because you're not with your, with your man, okay? Second sign that you're in a codependent relationship is that you have problems, you have trouble setting boundaries with your partner. You can't say no. You can't stand up for yourself. You can't express a strong dislike for something that is a clear violation of your being, your rules, your boundaries. Out of fear, again, of being left alone or being abandoned or somebody retaliating, basically this guy being a dick uh, in some way because you actually stood up to him. There's a, a, there's a thing that happens in any relationship, right? Which is compromise. If you want a relationship to succeed, you will have to compromise. But there's a difference between compromising on things that are just of the flexibility kind, meaning you can get more uncomfortable uh, within your own set of values and things that break you away from your values, that break you away from your self or sense of respect. When you're constantly doing that, when you're violating your own rules, your own values for the sake of keeping that guy in your life, because if you were to go away, your life would crumble, that's clear sign that you're in this codependent relationship and you feel a sense of neediness towards him versus a surplus of love as a source for being with him. Third sign is that you're consistently seeking validation from your partner in order to feel worthy, in order to feel confident, in order to feel even happy or function. When you find yourself constantly needing approval, constantly needing for somebody to tell you how great you're doing. If your guy has to tell you how amazing you are, you don't feel awesome. If you can't get out of your house without feeling, if you, can't, you don't feel beautiful because he didn't say you look beautiful. Uh, and trust me, some of this might seem like far-fetched, but they're so true. If you find that you need your constant, constant reinforcement, reinforcement from him to you to feel confident, and if he doesn't, you start feeling really shaky inside, that's another sign that you're in this codependent relationship. Fourth sign, you can't make decisions, basic, simple decisions without consulting with him. When I see someone who is asked to buy something simple, right? Or some, somebody who is uh, maybe getting together with a group of friends or anything that's simple or getting a, I don't know, a color dress that's different from what she usually wears and she feels she can't because she needs to get almost like permission from her partner. Again, that's a clear sign of codependency because in codependent relationship, there's a power struggle where both people try to control each other. Usually one partner partners more control than the other, but both people try to do it in very unhealthy ways. The fifth sign that you're in a codependent relationship is you spend a lot of time playing passive aggressive games instead of speaking your truth. Because here's the reality, if you feel like somebody is has one up on you all the time, then you'll find shitty ways to get back at them. You'll figure out how you can push the buttons and instead of saying, hey, this thing that you've been doing for the last five years needs to stop right now or else we can't continue this relationship. If you feel you can't say that, then you'll find ways to get them back, punch them under the belt, so to speak. 
And they'll do the same thing with you. They'll do passive aggressive behaviors. They'll flirt with someone in front of you. They'll hit you where it hits the most, where it hurts the most, instead of dealing with a pink elephant taking a shit in the living room, which is the relationship needs to change. So here's the reality. If you find yourself in a codependent relationship, I'm not gonna give you right now some five steps to change this shit on your own. I'm gonna tell you flat out, you need to get help. Because while it's possible to change things on your own, if you're in an addictive relationship, you are going to massively benefit from someone giving you a helping hand and sharing and modeling to you healthy versus unhealthy behavior. And uh, you can spend the next three years trying to get out of it or you can get, or making it better, or you can get help from professional and change this shit in a much faster amount of time. So hope you find this helpful, useful, insightful. If you do, I'll ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or a link somewhere on your screen, you're going to find a webinar that I'm hosting that's gonna share with you <laughs> three steps to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to experience and live and step into a full and a conscious life.